Tijuana Survival 101. Okay, so maybe not dodging bullets, right? <laughs> but, but after living more than 10 years in Tijuana, definitely I do have some tips that might help you if you do plan on visiting Tijuana. So let's start with number one, the most obvious. Do not bring attention to yourself. If you're gonna be bringing your own car, make sure it's not a flashy car. Unless you're gonna be staying in really popular rich areas, then you should be fine. But if you're just an average person, don't rent a freaking, you know, BMW or a Mercedes just to visit. Which brings us to clothing. You wanna look like this guy. Not like this guy. I mean, it, it is a little common sense, but just letting you know. So another thing, if you are bringing your car, don't leave anything in sight. I know in the US you also have this problem. It's uh, more common in Mexico, so <laughs> don't expect any less of it. Look at this video, how fast they can break into your car. So watch the car stops, looks in, oh, see something, likes. Okay, trying to reach for it, grabs it, and it's gone. My best advice is to put anything valuable in the trunk where you can't see it. And now talking about can't see it, tinted windows. In Mexico, at least in Tijuana, I can speak for Tijuana, not, not for the rest of Mexico. Tinted windows is a big no-no. Why? Because they think you have somebody bad inside the car. And if you can't see them, that's bad. But just overall avoid tinted windows. That's just another way to stay out of trouble. And another way to stay out of trouble, no public urination and do not drink in public. You will get arrested. And no, it's not like in the US or wherever your country is that you have really comfortable seats where you can get arrested in. In Mexico, they throw you in the back of the truck. And guess what? They don't take you right away to court or to jail. They take, they drive you around picking up other bad guys until they are full or they have to go to break or something and then they, then they take you. So you don't want that free car ride. Now I made this map that should kind of guide you where you can go. Green is, you know, you should be safe if you're walking around during the daytime. Yellow is like, uh, you should be okay. Those areas are not that bad. And then red, it doesn't mean you shouldn't go there. It just means you should take someone that is from around the area or just uh, don't go by yourself. Now, if you do want to visit and you want to be uh, on the safe side, look for someone that's already in Tijuana that you know. And if you don't know anyone, you can just email me and I'll, I'll help you out. Just uh, email me with time. Don't tell me like, I'm going tomorrow. <laughs> I need some time to plan too. But anyways, you guys, stay safe. Next video, we'll be covering where's good areas to eat, depending on your craving. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like what I'm, uh, if you like what you saw and stay tuned. Bump up, blogs.